I'm Dr. Jen from Root to Rise Physical Therapy. We're going to go over a couple little nuanced um, tweaks that you can do to your puppy pose to help you improve your hip mobility, open up your pelvic floor, and this is really important for preparing for delivery if you're expecting. So um, what we'll do is we'll start on hands and knees, and in a traditional sort of puppy pose, your hips will stay over your knees, and then you can come down to your forearms. Often I'll have a yoga block for my forehead and place my forehead on the floor. Or you can also reach your arms out, let your forehead land on the floor. But what we'll do as we start here, we'll start in our neutral position. And you can start by just doing a few little cat cows with your pelvis. So inhaling and letting the sit bones lift and spread. And then exhaling and letting the tailbone drop down, tucking the tailbone under. Inhaling and letting the sit bones lift and spread. Pelvic floor is opening, pelvis is moving on the femur bones, opening that bottom part of the pelvic bowl. And then as you exhale, we're moving the pelvis on the femur bones, dropping and closing the bottom part of the pelvic bowl, opening the top part. And then eventually we'll come back to center. And then we're going to play with hip motion. So we'll start with hip external rotation. So you'll take your knees slightly wider than your hip width and bring your toes towards one another. And then we'll repeat the same thing. So inhaling and letting the sit bones spread and lengthen the low back arching. You certainly can take your head forward, but you don't have to. This is really about the lower body, the pelvis. And then as you exhale, we'll draw the tailbone under. You might feel your core activating here a little bit as you draw your tailbone under. And then on your inhale, we'll lift the sit bones up and spread them. Another thing I like to do is just sort of like wag your tail side to side in both a lifted pelvis position or a lifted sit bone position. And then the same thing as you draw under, wagging your tail side to side. So just really exploring that pelvis on femur mobility in both positions. And then from here, we'll draw the knees towards one another. We'll come into internal rotation. So this time the toes will point outward, the knees will be under the hips, and then the shin bones are kind of facing away. So now we're in hip internal rotation here. And then we'll do the same thing. So we'll lift the sit bones up. It'll probably feel a little stickier here. And then on the exhale breath, we'll draw the tailbone underneath. And these can be small motions, just practicing and feeling how the pelvis moves on the thigh bones. And then once you're in this lifted position where the tailbone is lifted up, you might sway your hips side to side or wag your tail or little circles, moving forward and back. In both of those positions can be really helpful. So once you've completed all of that, you can come into a child's pose or come to sit on your heels. Just allow yourself to take about five breaths, just letting everything sort of reset and release. And then you can come up. So let me know if you have any questions. It's just a nice little drill for your pelvis, getting a little mobility, connecting with your breath, and um, maybe preparing for labor and delivery.